John Fury has had a crazy altercation with one of Usyk's team members in the prelims of the Tyson Fury vs. Oleksandr Usyk match, and has since publicly apologized for his actions. Get ready to dive into a world of backstage brawls, fiery tempers, and a whole lot of drama that no one saw coming. This is the real story behind Fury vs. Usyk. John Fury, the ever-outspoken father of Tyson Fury, never shies away from controversy. His fiery temper and razor-sharp tongue have made him a polarizing figure in the boxing world, but this latest incident has even his most ardent supporters scratching their heads. In a shocking turn of events that unfolded behind the scenes, John became embroiled in a heated confrontation with a member of Oleksandr Usyk's team. What began as a war of words quickly escalated into a full-blown physical altercation, with shoves exchanged, insults hurled, and tensions reaching a boiling point. After this intense war of words, John got even more heated and made a move on one of the Usyk's team member, which led to John's face being covered with tomato sauce. It seemed like John hated the fact that Usyk's team members were shouting his name, almost disrespecting Tyson. John Fury explained in a new IFL TV interview why he did what he did, and at first, didn't seem to have any remorse to any of Usyk's team. This soon changed, but firstly, John stated, I was minding my own business until I heard USYK, 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 and I wanted to stand up for my son. At the end of the day, he's the best in the world and deserves some respect. Some little idiot came towards me and he got what he got. That's all it is at the end of the day. I was sat there minding my own business, all oh, clear, who's sick, who's sick, who's sick, and I'm going to stand up for my son. You know, at the end of the day, he's my son, he's the best in the world, and I want people to respect him and give him the credit he deserves as the champion. He's the best in the world. When people start saying this and saying that, because when I was in amongst them, all oh, clear was badness. You know, so at the end of the day, some little idiot come forward, I knew he was in my space. He got what he got, and that's the end of it. it happens every other week for me. That Everyone knows John Fury, he is a force of nature known for his unfiltered opinions and fiery temperament. With a personality as big as his son's knockout punch, John is never one to shy away from a confrontation, as Emily's honor is at stake. Someone who witnessed these scenes said, it was surreal, like something straight out of a boxing movie. These two guys were locked in a heated debate, voices getting louder, but it seemed like just passionate arguing at first. Then, in a flash, John Fury crossed the line. He lunged forward, invading the other guy's personal space, his face contorted with rage. I swear, spit was flying from his mouth as he unleashed a torrent of insults and threats. John has since apologized for his actions in a new recent interview. Sincere apologies to everybody involved. It's just the way we are. Emotions and tensions are running high. He was a very disrespectful fella. If you come close in a fighting man's space, you're gonna cop for something. What matters to me is respect for my son, and he wasn't showing any of it. He mentioned my son, and that was it, so he had to have it. It doesn't bother me, bleeding -al. it's what we live for, we're fighting people. That's a regular occurrence to me. We all know John Fury is known for his before fight antics, and always gets the headlines one way or another. And when he does something wrong, he likes to apologize when recognizes when he makes a mistake, or in this case, goes too far. He was obviously apologetic after things got a bit too heated. However, social media has not been so forgiving. In fact, influencer boxer Logan Paul, who fought on the Prime card, the same card as Tommy Fury, said, John Fury is an attention-seeking coward. Another fan said, John Fury is a disgrace and should not allowed anywhere near a boxing event ever in his life. No smoke when guys his own size right there. Finds the smallest guy to headbutt. Tyson Fury wasn't current in room, as the headbutt happened, so this was his reaction to seeing his father, John Fury, in this way.
Tyson was obviously shocked by John's antics. Even for John, this is something a bit too far, which is why he was so quick to apologize. Both team members had to be taken apart after this incident. Security wasn't going to let this happen a second time. John was fired up. He always is fight weak. He has a lot of passion for the fight game, especially when it comes to his son, Tyson fighting. He was still fired up after the altercation and had to be calmed down by one of Tyson's friends and team member to make sure he wasn't going to cause anything more. Michael Benson updated everyone on the situation. He tweeted, Tyson Fury's father, John Fury bleeding from the head, after an altercation with a member of Oleksandr Usyk's team at the start of fight week today, ahead of their undisputed fight on Saturday night. After John's sudden apology, a member of Usyk's team also apologized to Fury after the situation had spiraled out of control. Do not respect our champion, we're not just disrespecting you all that never. We've never said a bad word about you. Understand that. This is all about the same. No problem. I wanna shake your hand and say apologies on behalf of the business. Hey, for many of men, for men we are the men. See, forget them. Fuck them all. No problem. <laughs> Big Joe Egan. Wasn't this forgiving, however. Joe has been calling out John Fury for a while now, responded to the clips that were circulating, saying, John Fury. What an absolute disgrace to the sport of boxing. He also made an official fight offer to John after being disgusted by today's antics. I suppose you've all seen the conduct of this lowlife bully boy thug. John Fury today. I want to take this opportunity to apologize on behalf of the boxing world to the Saudi royal family and to the people of Saudi Arabia who have welcomed the Fury family into their wonderful country and also to the people of Ukraine for the conduct of this scumbag. I will take great pleasure in smashing this man to bits if he ever has the courage to climb into the boxing ring with me. The world wants to see manners put on this man, and I am the man to do that. The week of your son's biggest fight of his life, John, and you conduct yourself like this. If you're not gonna conduct yourself properly and behave as an ambassador for the greatest sport in the world, crawl back into the rodent hole that you came out of. As the controversy raged on, one question loomed large over the entire situation. How would this explosive incident impact the highly anticipated fight? Would it serve as a catalyst for an even more intense and personal rivalry, adding an extra layer of animosity and drama to the showdown? Or would it irreparably damage the relationship between the two camps, potentially derailing the entire event? The world held its breath, anxiously awaiting the next chapter in this saga of pride, passion, and pugilistic prowess. One thing was clear. The drama surrounding Fury vs Usyk had reached a fever pitch and the stakes had never been higher. The burning question on everyone's mind was this. What truly ignited this explosive confrontation? Was it simply a case of two strong personalities clashing? Before this altercation, both Usyk and Fury made their entrances ahead of this once-in-a-lifetime bout, both of them walking in with a swagger and aura about them, not knowing what was to come next and that this incident would occur. There's over 50 fights between them, and not a single loss to their records. Number one in the world. Usyk versus number three in the world fury. But come Saturday night, one fighter zero will have to go and move further, or for Usyk, lower in the rankings. But which one will it be? Really? Tyson's going to be coming up, and we're doing the Monday exclusives, so he'll be doing about three hours of solid media. Tyson, how are you feeling? <laughs> On top of the world.
<laughs> Both of these fighters are ready for battle, and seems like John Fury is too if he's needed. And whether you agree with John Fury's methods or not, there's no denying the man's unwavering passion and fierce loyalty to his family. His actions, while controversial, have undoubtedly injected an extra dose of drama and intrigue into the already highly anticipated showdown between Fury and Usyk. The incident has become a captivating subplot, a real-life soap opera unfolding alongside the sporting event. It has left fans and pundits alike on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting the next chapter in this saga of pride, rivalry, and the pursuit of boxing glory. One thing is certain, the Fury vs. Usyk fight just got a whole lot more interesting. As we gear up for Fury vs. Usyk, one thing is certain, the drama inside the ring will be matched only by the drama outside of it. What do you think about John Fury's actions? Is he losing respect in the boxing world? Or is it smart promotion from him building this fight up even more and making it as interesting and unmissable as ever? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our post-fight analysis.